Stitching on the machine is done using the inside edge of the presser foot as a guide. Hello humans, I am the master of snake style. Oh, fitty. <laughs> and maker of masks at Closet Chick. Today's video is about zippers. We're gonna talk about adding a zipper to your lucha mask. You don't have a lucha mask? We made a whole video series about it. Be sure to check those out before you get too deep into this one. If you're wondering where you even start to make something like this, well, you can visit closetchampion.com merch to pick up some patterns to get you started on your mask making journey. So, grab your scissors and your spray glue. It's time to get you masked in public. In this video, I will be using patterns, scissors, straight pins, dry type silicone spray, spray adhesive, upholstery vinyl, four way stretch spandex with a holographic foil print, a finished mask base, two of them actually, a foam head, fabric tack or magna tack fabric glue, two 7 inch metal zippers, and a lighter, which I forgot to include here as well as a zipper foot for your machine, which I'll show you a little bit later. In this video, we'll be covering two separate methods for adding a zipper to your mask. One with a vinyl backplate and one without. For either of these methods, you'll want to include what we call a tongue. Underneath the zipper to protect your hair or scalp from the metal teeth of the zipper. We cover this process in the third video of our Lucha Mask tutorial series, which you can find by clicking the little eye there, in the upper right hand corner of the video. To add a zipper with a vinyl back panel, we must first trace and cut out our back panel out of upholstery vinyl. As I've talked about before, I like using a light coat of spray adhesive to help keep my pattern in place as I trace. Most commercial zippers have a little extra fabric tape at the end that I don't really need, so I trim off and seal the ends by melting each side with a lighter. Without melting the ends, the fabric tape will continue to fray and damage the integrity of the zipper. After the excess fabric tape has been removed, I run a line of magnet attack along the outside left edge of the zipper tape so there's no chance of glue getting in the zipper teeth. I then line up the other side of the zipper that I glued with the corresponding inside edge of the back panel, making sure to leave a little bit of space between the zipper teeth and the vinyl edge. You'll notice that the zipper is a little long for this pattern, so I've pulled down the zipper pull to match the length of the back panel, and I repeat the same gluing process with the other side of the zipper. Once that glue has dried, it's time to put on some more glue. I use the same technique to attach the combined zipper and back panel to the mask, making sure to keep the glue mostly on the vinyl so there's no risk of gumming up the zipper teeth. After applying my glue, I carefully lay the mask onto the panel, starting at the bottom and smoothing up to the top. Once that is secure, I do the same with the other side. After a few blasts of silicone spray to keep the project running smoothly, we head over to the machine to sew down our zipper. First we have to change the presser foot on our machine. If you didn't know, the piece of plastic or metal that hold down your fabric as you sew is called a presser foot. To sew the zipper accurately, you'll need a presser foot designed to allow you to get your needle as close to the zipper teeth as possible. You can see here that I am able to butt my needle right up against the edge of the vinyl when I sew down the zipper. After the inside edge is sewn, I switch back to our regular Teflon presser foot to finish sewing down the edges of the panel, making sure to backstitch at the beginning and end of my stitching. To be completely done, this mask still needs a tongue, but for now, the zipper is complete. 
To add a zipper without a back panel, we start by folding over the back edges of the mask about a quarter of an inch and pinning them in place. After trimming the excess tape from the zipper and sealing the ends, we line the bottom left edge of the zipper with the bottom left edge of the mask, butting up the folded edge of the mask to the zipper teeth. We use the same pins as before to prevent the space from being too crowded with pins, making sure to catch both the zipper and the folded edge, working up towards the crown of the mask. Once we reach the apex, we pull the zipper down to proper length and pin the other side of the zipper, starting again from the bottom to make sure the mask is spaced out evenly along the zipper. Now we take it over to the machine, which has been outfitted with a zipper foot like we discussed before, and sew down the zipper, leaving about an eighth of an inch between the folded edge of the mask and the stitching. When you get to the top of the zipper, you'll have to do some finagling to stitch around the metal zipper teeth securely. Multiple needles were broken in the process of sewing the zipper alone. It doesn't always happen, but sometimes it is what it is. Once the zipper is fully secure, it's time for the final step of most Lucha masks, adding the tongue. You can probably guess how this goes, or you already know from watching our previous videos, but just in case you don't, first you pin it in place. We like to line it up with the top of the twill tape that runs along the crown of the mask, and then you sew it down. Look at that beautifully done, finished zipper. Mm -hmm. Zippers, they're way better than strings. If after watching that video, you still got a ton of questions, don't worry, I've got the answers. Over on patreon.com slash closet champion, where you can get access to myself and the other half of closet champion, Cake Nicks. You can join for as little as $2 a month, which gives you access to our Discord, where you can ask myself, Kate, or any of the other makers in the Closet Champion community, whatever you'd like. If you don't already, follow me across all of social media, at Ophidian Cobra. Thanks for watching. Yes. So, grab your scissors and your spray glue. It's time to get you masked in public. I tried to, but I couldn't. <laughs> I forgot I had scissors in my hand. <laughs> that seems dangerous. Don't forget you have scissors in your hand. Don't try to pose with scissors in your hand. You lose an eye. You are a himbo.